Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. Whether y'all are watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you guys are here. Today, I'm going to take a little time and go through my 10 smallest EDC fixed blades. My supplemental carries, the littlest of the little, right? So before I get started, I wanna say thank you to the channel members. Thank each and every one of you and thank any of you who come in, watch my content, subscribe to the content, just occasionally check out the content. I'm thankful for you. If you're so inclined and you have the chance, if you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification icon, it'll also help me out. So today, I'm going to start with the largest of the 10 little knives. And the 10 little knives that I picked up out of this list, just to give you an idea, are going to run right around little sized, right? So this particular one, and we won't measure all these, is right under six inches, five and a half. So I'm going to say all these are going to be under six inch knives. But this is the LT Wright Frontier First. It is a great little camp hiking knife with the super sharp 90 degree spine that strikes a ferro rod fantastically well. It is Magna Cut and it is um, Micarta Handles, made in the USA. A little small bruiser, skinner, all purpose little knife with thick blade stock so you can get in there and work with it if you need to comes with this little leather sheath that is a vertical sheath. I do wear this knife from time to time. It's not my favorite carry method. I wish I had a Kydex sheath for it, or I wish I could mount this horizontally, but it's a great little knife, really high quality, was under $100 for MagnaCut, and I'm just a big fan. So this is the LT Wright Frontier First, coming in at number 10, which brings us to number nine. Number nine is one of my top carry EDC fixed blades. It is among the top, one of my favorites, just because the shape is so fantastic, the grip is so inviting, the blade is so usable, and it's such a little guy, right? It is a, a Bark River. It again has a very thick, sharp spine. You can see where I've been striking ferro rides on there. Has a convex ground, super sharp, little skinner blade, little short blade, little package destroyer, little tape destroyer, rope destroyer, anything you need to cut on the daily that doesn't require a longer blade length, this little guy is perfect for it. It comes with this little leather sheath that at first I did not think I was gonna be a fan of, similar to the LT Wright. However, this one rides a lot higher on my belt and I find I don't even know it's there. It rides about four o'clock or a little bit to the left of my right rear pocket and it is a fantastic knife. This is the Bark River Micro Canadian in 3V, full size handle for me, great little blade, Great little tiny EDC knife. I'm a huge, huge fan. So moving on, we come to another little knife. This is kind of a little all-purpose foraging, whittling, cutting knife. This is the uh, Boker Solid in Germany Barlow BFF fixed blade. Um, it's an interesting little knife. ABEL steel has a little bit thicker grind, but is still very, very slicey. Has a very utilitarian blade shape and size, so it looks very much like a knife. It has this nice handle with this little choil here that keeps your hand from moving up. It's got a nice little sharpening choil. It's got a nice swedge at the tip here, so it's very pokey, should it need to be. And again, when you compare it to something like the Bug Out, it is a great secondary carry. A very small little package with a nice size blade with a great shape 
and a very utilitarian type of uh, package. It comes with this leather pocket dropper sheath, and I simply drop this inside my pocket, clip it on, usually in my back pocket, and then I've got a fixed blade if I don't want to have to pull out my folder to make a few cuts. The Boker Barlow BFF is a fantastic knife. I think it comes in at number seven, which brings us to number six. And my numbers could be off, guys. We could have more than 10 knives. Who knows? This is a little knife that was gifted to me by a company that my understanding is is no longer making knives. This is a fantastic little beefy specimen of a sick 3V knife that's not only slicey, well, I can't poke with it, but pokey as the day is long. It has got this very detailed, sharp point, these wonderful, I guess you'd call them rock patterned G10 handles. You've got this really thick blade stock with this nice swedge, nice little jimps. This is the Savant Knives Simpleton, if I'm not mistaken. And it is just a great little knife. Again, a small little knife, one of my smallest, but a great secondary carry. I use this with an ulti clip. It's got a Kydex sheath with amazing retention. I either clip it in my right pocket or most likely in my back pocket as I'm carrying as an enhancement to my daily carry. But the Savant knives is just a joy. I love this little knife and think a lot of it. Moving on, we come to another cool little knife that I wasn't aware of until somebody showed it to me. This is the Marlboro Knife Company, not the cigarette company, the Marlboro Knife Company. This is their little prick. And their little prick is, if I'm not mistaken, in 1095 tool steel. It's a little three finger knife, tall flat ground, very, very slicey, very pokey, very much a detail cutter. Should you need that? Um, and also a Slurpee saver, Slurpee detractor. I mean, it's a little knife that I think punches over its weight. Perfectly balanced, perfectly ground, even on both sides. Comes with this little red Kydex sheath. I wear it with a single belt loop right at my appendix, and it's been a lot of fun to carry. It also has the eyelets where you could put an ulti clip on it or a deep concealment clip. But this is the Marlboro Knives Little Prick. And it's coming in, well, what do we say, number six? Which brings us to number five or something like that. So this guy, or this little guys, are two knives I picked up because I find them so elegant and so usable and so minimalistic, right? So this is the Angus Gen 2 by Baltic Blades over in Lithuania. This one is the Neoscale version that I checked out because it has a belt satin blade. And then this one is the original Gen 2 that I picked up with the black paracord. Small little knife that is an absolute laser beam, probably the sharpest knife or one of the sharpest knives on this list. Also probably the lightest, because it's just skeletonized. Has this tiny little Kydex sheath that um, Polyus, the owner CEO, makes himself, and there's absolutely no rattle. It sits very tightly, pops out with no problem, comes with an ulti clip, I keep it with an ulti clip because I think it just carries perfectly either in my side pocket or in my back pocket. And you can get either the stone washed or the Neo scale with the belt satin blade. Neither is going to cost you anymore. And they're both equally devastatingly slicey. Um, for me, an ADC knife needs to be able to cut little stuff more so than necessarily big stuff just because of my EDC. And the Baltic Blades Angus is a joy. It is tiny, it is light, and it gets the job done. 
So moving on, we come to another small little knife, and this is the Griffin Co. Scout Medic. I've got the Scout 2.5 and picked it up first, but this is its little bitty brother. This is a tiny, tiny little knife with carbon fiber scales. It is an S35VN, has a little lanyard hole here on the back. Gives me a full three finger, four finger grip because my fourth comes back there. Most big boy hands will probably be more of a three finger grip, but it is just a great little drop point that is slicey, that is utilitarian, that is stabby, that is minimalistic. I carry it with this internal pocket clip. Um, I forget right now what it's called, but these are not cheap. They're like 35 bucks. I picked it up on Amazon. I can drop it in my back pocket or I can drop it in my front pocket and it retains it, not as tightly as an ulti clip, but it's easier to get in and out of the pocket, and it doesn't make it harder to draw the knife. So coming in at our next smallest, and I think we're getting smaller with each knife, is our Griffin Company Scout Medic. So moving on, we come to a little knife that has a very big personality in terms of handle, in terms of just the way it feels in the hand. And this is the TKL Piranha. The Piranha's ADCRV. It's got this nitride co coating that ups the HRC to like 80 almost because the finish is so durable. It's the same finish they treat the internals of pew pews with. But this little knife is full tang, G10 sculpted handles, fits my hand like an absolute glove because unlike the chickadee which we'll see next you've got this nice finger choil here I can get a full three plus four on the back it's got a nice swedge at the top so it's very defensive very tactical but yet very usable if I'm gonna pull it out of my back pocket open a package or if I'm gonna cut out a label or if I'm gonna have to help somebody and cut some string or tape this little knife works great. It's got a deep concealment clip on it right now and the Kydex that Tim at TKL Knives makes fits perfectly. Great little specimen and this is the TKL Piranha, the smallest little knife in TKL's line. So moving on, we come to another knife that I like so much. I have several. One of them is on the way back from Brother Lord Needham. He was checking it out, my magnet cut one. But these are Jacob Creates Chickadees. This is the knife that started it all for me, and it's still one of my favorites, definitely in the top 10. I've kind of evolved my carry style and found some other knives that kind of fit me a little bit better in terms of the grip. But this little guy is a solid three finger knife made by hand in the US by a fella by the name of Jacob Creates. This is a full flat ground S90V. This is an almost full ground 20CV. They are super, super slicey. They are super utilitarian. When I carry these knives, I find myself using them all the time. I've got a couple of different ways I carry them. Most often, I will carry it in the sheath that it came with with the single strap, like my little prick, right at my appendix. It's an easy way to conceal it and also to keep it where it's easy to draw. The second way is with my Oak City leather slip sheath that I can put in my back pocket and draw it that way. So either way, the Jacob Creates Chickadees are fantastic little knives. They're tiny and I love them. And they're the knives that started it all for me. So as we get a little smaller, we come to one of my custom Jason Grant J-Cals. And this is one of the latest ones I picked up from him. And this is his little, I call it the micro angry cleaver. It is a J-Cal through and through by the handle. Gives me a full three finger grip. My fourth wraps around. I've got this very usable choil, fantastic sharpening choil, very even tall flat ground blade with a little splinter picker point which i love 
and then each one of these gripper style grant gents is done by hand super super nice this is one of the first knives that he um, constructed with the screw on handles not the pinned handles he since now started recessing those but this little guy is a devastating ripper it is a package destroyer if i didn't pull out of the cut and it is stabby, pokey, comfortable, and tiny. So if we were going to look at this next to our Benchmade bug out, we're getting down to about half size. But my grip is still a full three fingers. I can get it in a lot of different grips. I carry it in this little MKM micro sheath because I've got a couple of carry kits and one of them I don't use this for and I just drop this in my pocket and it works perfectly. So moving on we come to my superlative Hella little small skeletonized uh, M390 blade with these Mars carbon fiber inserts. It is small, it is thin, it is so usable, so utilitarian. The sheep's foot blade works great. I've run through so much cardboard with this. It's sick. Um, this little knife has a lanyard tube if you want it. You can remove these carbon fiber inserts if you want it more skeletonized, but it weighs nearly nothing. Perfectly balanced and an absolute tiny, tiny little guy. So if we were going to measure this one, and again, we're not measuring all of them, but this one comes in right at five inches. So a little guy doesn't take up any space in my pocket. This one actually rides in this little leather sheath that it came in. And then I just simply drop it in my pocket. If I want to carry it as a primary, drop it in my back pocket. It has retention, easy to grab, and super, super thin package. This is the superlative Hella fixed blade and it's a hell of a good little knife. So moving on, and we're getting close guys, we've got just a couple more. We look at the mini um, Amsler Tools Hurricane Razor. So I've got a standard size, it's a little bit bigger, but the mini kind of fit the bill for my tiniest knives, and this is definitely one of my tiniest knives, clocking in at about four and a half inches. But this little guy is solid MagnaCut, with this wicked little hand ground Tanto blade. You've got this titanium clip. I could either wear this as a neck knife or with a single little small ulti clip, but I choose to keep it in my shirt pocket like a ballpoint pen because it carries very well that way. And it is probably one of the most useful uh, string cutter box openers. It's not a cardboard shredder by any means, but it's not designed to be but as a little utility scalpel, as a little splinter digger, is I need to cut something and I need a small knife to do it. The little Hurricane Mini by Amsler Tools, you can find these guys over on Etsy, is a fantastic, small, understated, almost invisible to carry, little fixed blade that I love. So much that I picked up the standard after I picked up this one, because it's still really small. So moving on, we come to a knife that I've got two of. I did not bring the sheep's foot in here, but this is the MKM Micro. The MKM Micro, spelled M-I-K-R-O, that's the Micro One. The Micro One is the drop point, and it is a fantastic little knife that I carry in my appendix, um, or on my appendix, above my belt, and it just does a fantastic job. The balance on this little knife, it's got micarta scales. You've got jimping right here, and you've got jimping back here on your, for your bump, butt of your hand. It is in M390. It's perfectly balanced. Totally dainty, but an absolute cutter. And then the sheep's foot, is the same knife, same balanced package. The jimping's moved a little bit because of where your pressure is, 
but it's a fantastic cutter. Both of these little knives have gotten extensive use in my collection. Um, I probably carry this one more just because I like the pokiness of it. And I carry it in the Kydex carry kit, which I've also got for this one. But coming in next in the tiniest is the MKM Micra 1 and MKM Micra 2. Which brings us to our final tiny knife. The tiniest of my tiny fixed blades. And this is currently a neck knife. This is a custom Jason Grant J.Cal. And this is my micro skinner. Guys, this little beautiful knife is S35VN and Ultim. Much smaller than the bug out. So much so that I would venture to say it is under three and a half inches. Perfectly balanced. G10 pins through those Ultim handles. This small jimping right here is hand jimped, beautifully done. This flat ground blade will shred through boxes, it'll shred through tape, it'll shred through envelopes, it'll shred through anything you need it to. It is a small blade. It is uh, Right at about an inch and a half cutting area. But guys, when Jason showed me this, that he'd been working on it, I had to have it. It was something that was right up my alley. I absolutely love it. I have a titanium chain that I put on the sheath. The retention on this sheath is next level. The little knife is fantastic. And it is definitely one of my tiniest and one of my most favorite little EDC fixed blades. So guys, that is, or those are, Javon's tiniest of the tiny EDC fixed blades that get carried all the time because the smaller for me, the more likely I am to put them in my pocket because they're not taking up a lot of room. They're not causing me to be weighted down like if i was carrying one of the bigger ones i showed y'all earlier um but these little guys are all little bruisers they're all very capable knives of getting the job done and none of them make you feel like you've got a huge knife in your pocket one of the things i love about them um they are they're very dainty they are very small they are very effective they cut very well they basically, whoops, sorry about that, guys. They get the job done, guys. So that, I can't get them all out here, so we'll just stop right there with the Savant. Let's see if I can get it over where y'all can see it. Chinka, chinka. See here, I have to go redoing all my knives because I'm OCD. And now what will happen is I'll have just enough room to slip one more in there and it'll throw me off. So what we're gonna do is not do that. I'm gonna thank you guys for watching my content. I know this video was a little longer, but I wanted to run through it. I wanted to share them with you. Any of these knives I love, I think they're all great. If you have questions about them, let me know. I love each and every one of you. Thank you for watching, and please look out for the guy or gal to your left. Please look out for the guy or gal to your right. Please look out for each other. Go forward with love in your heart. Always choose to bait, not hate. Be up. I love you all. Peace.